I've tried to move on. I've tried to move on from Strickland's upcoming fight. But it's hard. It's hard. It is a tough opponent. And one thing that nobody will do, nobody, of course, is a broad stroke, but one thing that's very hard to do is to get a top guy to fight a really hard fight against a lesser-known name. There's few things that are worse or harder to do because they come with bigger risk. You know, what? what's the ceiling if I win? Well, what's the floor if I don't win? And if you take on a guy, perception is reality. It doesn't matter how good Nemov is. It has to do with how good do you guys think Nemov is. So Sean knows what he's getting into. He's getting into a real hard fight. Sean versus Kelvin Gastelum. That is a hard fight. That is a close, hard match. Now, I bring that up because Kelvin was a underdog going into this fight. Kelvin pulls out. Sean steps in. It's short notice. Sean didn't even have his paperwork in order. I just got an interview by Sean yesterday where he's wearing those Dr. Issue sunglasses. Do you guys know why? Not that it's an overly big deal, but do you know why? Because you have to have a dilated eye exam to get a license in the state of Nevada and that resets each calendar year. So Sean wasn't licensed. He had to go through that process. He had a dilated eye exam yesterday. He will recover today. Tonight, he will get his weight off tomorrow he will defeat the scale in the next season competition, right? I mean, it's one of these things that's coming really fast. Of course, that has to favor Nemkov. It, it just does. Not to mention the guy's really good. French fighter. But he's fighting by way of Dagestan. Trained by Fernando Lopez. Guy's good. 15 wins, 3 losses. That's off the top of my head. But I'm close. And is he going to have the best version of Sean Strickland? Sean's a human being. He's a wild man, but he is a man. And when things don't go your way and you start to question yourself, that is just a story that can unravel really fast. I think Sean's in a lot better spot than he was against Cannoneer. I think that Sean, who questioned his chin against Cannoneer and went out and took him on the chin for 25 straight minutes with a guy that went 25 straight minutes with Adesanya in the same round, I think Sean's confidence should be at an absolute high. But then you factor in the other things. Aside from questioning yourself, now you got to question your training. you got to question your preparation. It's a tough spot. It's a tough spot for anybody. This guy can fight. This Frenchman can fight by way of Dagestan. Well-trained athlete, 15 and three, belongs in the main event. If he faces the best Sean Strickland out there, I do believe Sean wins. If Sean brings all of his tools, if he shows up mentally prepared, if he can let the past be the past, hard for anybody to do. Easy analysis for me to give. Easy for you guys to know that I'm right. Hard to fix if you're in Sean's spot. And I think in many ways, a short notice fight actually helps Sean. Don't give him too much time to think about it. Interesting contest with a lot at stake here. Main event fighters that want to hold down that spot. Sean Strickland, loose, Sean Strickland, confident, Sean Strickland, who can live in the moment. Not what happened yesterday, not what happened last month, not what happened last time. Right now, this moment, this exchange, this sequence, I think he's in a very good position to find victory and to have success.